fresh meat. <laughs> There's a saying. Good morning. Welcome back. Uh, on this bright summer's, uh, well, sorry, winter's day or spring day in the centre of the known universe. Now, I, I've been talking, this is John, everybody, just in case you hadn't worked that out, you know. It's good stuff, this NLP and calibration. Um, I've been talking to John in, in the car this morning, and I was telling him uh, what a wonderful group of people you all are. And that you will, out, you will really, really show how outstanding you are integrated uh, all these patterns that you've learned. You're a great group, aren't you? <laughs> so, John, uh, as you know, is from California, uh, which means he's in fact a very, 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 very clever person. <laughs> Snug with my experience in California. <laughs> According to who? There we go. <laughs> See, I told you they're sharp, didn't they? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, wait a minute. Do you, are you, hang on. You're telling me that being from California. Yeah. Somehow is associated with intelligence. Uh, ooh, it, it, that's what some Californians have said to me. Uh -huh. yeah, well. California is California equals very clever. It's sort of like a group declaring that they're very clever. Yeah, just right. out of the blue. <coughs> right. Which means they can just go on and be superb at learning all these NLP patterns. Yeah, under the assumption that learning NLP patterns is somehow associated with intelligence. Yeah. Well, we could argue, we could argue many different things about yeah, intelligence indeed. and how that equates to learning NLP patterns. Well, so you're proposing there's some relationship between the level of intelligence demonstrated and the ability to learn new things? Only if they learn these new things in Croydon. Ah. <laughs> The, the generalization gradient is quite steep at that point. <laughs> Croydon, California equals intelligence. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to join us? Do you understand we're in the game? Anybody want to join us? Ah, you're more than the welcome. silence indicates to me that your original characterization of this group as quite brilliant is now in question. <laughs> <laughs> Their silence to me indicates that they are just a group of polite people uh, uh, at this moment in time. But now it's time for you to join in. Polite's not going to fly here. No. Yeah. Polite does not equal intelligence. Yeah, yes, Sven. Coming to this course is going to make me even smarter than I already am. <coughs> You're giving some indication this may be true. <laughs> So learning these language patterns this way means you integrate them quite deep into your system. And inductive learning leads to the possession of patterns by the learner. They don't belong to the presenter. They belong to the learner. Which again uh, equates to you having deep experience. So that at some point in the future your mouth opens and out of your mouth comes some statement that not even you understand but it's highly effective for the purposes you have, the intention in that context. And silence means that we're all cautious people. <laughs> that won't fly either, but yes, you're correct. <laughs> That's an example? That's an example. We've got Sven and we've got... So being here means that we are already highly intelligent. That's an example. <clears throat> A happy atmosphere makes us learn Yes, to these examples. It's a double. Mm -hmm. It's a double. It works for this one and the one that you had yesterday, correct? Yes. So her ability to recall yesterday's pattern gives me hope that she, in fact, is one of these people who will assimilate these patterns at high speed. And means she, in fact, is on a double level, which equates to her going on to uh, having a fantastic experience with all of these patterns. Being, if not, I, oh, being not here is not a sign of intelligence. <laughs> That's it. I don't even understand. That. <laughs> That's a triple negative. That's very nice, Bob. <laughs> so, so being quiet means we must be in third position. That's a nice example. Having breakfast in the same restaurant as John means that I'm as intelligent as him. 
<laughs> Depends on the food you got, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and your dietary system has been exposed. Well, leave it. <laughs> you looking in this direction means you want me to say something? Correct. Yes, that's very nice. Now, notice there are different level, levels of explicitness with these patterns, which means they exist on multiple levels. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at you. Me, Michael. Yeah, your unconscious is ready. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, driving here this morning means that uh, I'm going to be a much better salad person in a couple of days. <coughs> okay. You want us to participate because you hope that we are intelligent and we learn a little bit. Close, but more related to yesterday. Mm. Second part, actually. Small groups. Do you want to go into your? You get any gist? No. Nope. Mm. <laughs> Which means you're ready to go into your small groups. <laughs> to get it, when you go into your small groups, uh, your learning system changes. Which, cr which means you have greater opportunities to practice these patterns. Moving into the small groups will facilitate your acquisition of this pattern, it's quite clear. Okay. okay. Small groups. Small groups. Do a good job. Come back with it. <laughs>